So what do we want to talk about today besides good coffee? Before you even ask Twin Unicorn Designs, that's the answer to that question. And I don't know what to do with my hands. Welcome. Good morning, world. Good morning, Africa, Antarctica, Australia, if you're down there, if you're awake. I don't know what time it is in Australia. It's probably the middle of the night. Oregon. We got 69, ha. Uh, Pennsylvania, giggle. Indiana, Randy Cox, good morning. Texas, uh, 68. We got 68 people. We're losing. Full on honey badger today. We need, we need 100 before we start. Stanley, the honey badger coffee mug. Honey badger t shirt. Where is the video? It's right in front of your face. Uh, you know, it's not us. Good Sometimes morning, it's your reception. Yeah. Because I've watched it. I've watched it play through where people are like, all my audio cut out or all I can't see the video and then I watch it and it well it, it records and then uploads um, Spokane Houston Miami uh, Alan's just seeing black is anybody else just seeing black name that gun 87 we're almost there we need 13 more come on guys okay share it quick quiz what does the R stand for in the Glock 17 R? First person to guess it gets a pat on the back. Washington, Oregon. Glock 17 R. What does the R stand for? Set trainer. Um, no clear. What? Oh, the video clear. That's right. It has a little lag. I forgot. Clearly red. No, it doesn't stand for red. Sorry, Corey. Waco. Waco's here. Replica. Nope. Close. Not, not replica. Right hand. Nope. Nope. There's not one firearms trainer who can tell me. Revolver. Yeah, it stands for a revolver. <laughs> Rad? <laughs> right? No. Racism, of course. Restricted? Restricted. That's too. Wow. Hard. I can't believe nobody's Googled it by now. They're watching. They're too busy watching. They can't leave That's Google. That's true. Radical? No. All right. We got over 100 viewers. Tell them what it means and then go. Okay. Reset. Uh, the R on 17R stands for resetting trigger. Somebody said reset. That's pretty close. All right. All right. And we're live in Good Morning World, Good Morning Periscope World, Good Morning Facebook World. And today we're going to talk about slut-shaming gun owners. You probably have heard the term slut-shaming right, by now. Uh, not to be confused with slut-spam, which is a completely different thing. Uh, slut-shaming, I'm not going to talk about the normal definition, but slut-shaming of gun owners is this. I don't wear pro-gun t-shirts. I don't wear pro-gun, I don't put pro-gun stickers on my truck. I don't let people know that I'm a gun owner. I keep it to myself. It's a secret. Uh, how far do you want to take that? Do you want to take it as you don't wear, well, I don't wear mossy oak in public because people see Pete, someone with a mossy oak shirt and they think that guy's a hunter and if he's a hunter he owns guns and if he owns guns I should go to his house and break in and steal his guns. Holy crap! Do you think that's the world you're living in? Are you living in Soviet Russia? And that's how people behave today. They believe, or they behave as if they have to hide. It's like being in Soviet Russia and being a Christian. We hide in the basement and we have private meetings and we shut the drapes and we don't let anybody know. It's like being a Jew in 1944 Germany. Speaking of. Why are you so embarrassed? You can have her come on? No, why well, okay. maybe. And you say, well, Paul, no, no, you don't understand where I live, derpa, derpa, derpa. All right, so you're telling me that where you live, it's frowned upon to be pro-Second Amendment, to be pro-liberty, to be a gun owner. Why the hell do you live there? Why do you live among slaves? And you know that's probably going to mess people up. Like, no, it just not. lit up yeah. halfway during it. Yeah, no, this one's good, this one's not. Periscope was, was dark. My, my point is this, ladies and gentlemen is we're never going to advance as a culture. We're never going to gain our freedom back if we're afraid. If we're afraid to admit what we are. 
And how many of your friends, how many of your recent gun owners or, or uh, reasonable gun owners, after every mass shooting, theater shooting, school shooting or whatever, they immediately shut up about being a gun owner and they get real quiet about it and they don't tell anybody. Are they afraid? Are they ashamed? Do we need those people on our team? We need people to be bold. We need people not to be embarrassed. Now, if you're going to wear Remington t-shirts or, or Smith & Wesson or whatever, what do you need to do? Well, well, if you do that, people are going to assume you're armed and they're going to immediately rob you. So you're telling me that your fear is that people will assume that you're carrying concealed and because they think you're carrying concealed, they will single you out for attack as opposed to the other sheep? Really? That's your great fear? Then pay attention. Get your head out of your freaking phone when you're in public. Put your chin up and look around and see what's going on. Put your back to a wall. Maybe take some responsibility for your life. We are never, ever, ever going to fix this nation. We're never going to bring it back to its former glory when the people who should know better are afraid. And you reasonable gun owners, shut the hell up and quit slut-shaming your fellow gun owners. And that's all I have to say about that. I see Jared's holding something in his hand. It's a promotion. Oh, okay. Uh, where can you start? Buy this book. Uh, yeah, but uh, seriously, this is the initial book. This is, this is kind of like the starter book. I don't know what these guys are talking about. I, don't, I just got here today. Uh, go to studentofthegun.com. If you're on our mailing list already, uh, then I'm going to be giving you guys, today's April Fool's Day, so we're going to be doing a You're Not a Fool sale. And I'm going to be giving you a discount on this book. Yeah. So if you're on the mailing list. World premiere. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. World premiere. Yeah, it's finally all done after three trips to the hair salon. From like black, my normal hair color, well, to white old woman gray. All right, it's called done. gin you're and done. tonic. Am I? <laughs> I like it. All right, that's it. Are we done? Are we done? Lauren says hi, Alex. Hi, Lauren. Bill says, loves the hair. Need Thank red. you. He wants you to dye your tips red. Jared has a whole new woman. Uh, <laughs> don't tell her that. I don't think I could go ginger. Right, are we done? Yeah. Um, Ginger. What is it? What is what? what what's oh, what? Tell them what's in the book. Like, what do you talk about in the book? The student of the gun book. Oh, he wants the book. The book's called Student of the Gun. Uh, you can get a beginner it on, wants a student for life. Yeah, get it on studentofthegungear.com. First steps. Somebody just came in the door. Mindset. Training. Tactics. Concealed carry. The coach and the instructor and closing thoughts. So there you go. Cool. Studentofthegungear.com, guys. <laughs> Just read it to us. <laughs>